standing here looking at the birds and feeling the sun. I just think this is the best part of all. Phoenix native Kathleen McCoy is taking a break from technology for the day. I watch them through my computer, of course, and my dogs go crazy because they're listening to the sound of the birds. Listening to their coos. Oh, that's quite a sound. And calls in person. It was worth getting up at four this morning. She's catching a glimpse of these sandhill cranes. Where are they coming from? From as far north as Siberia, they make their way to southern Arizona. And how long will they stay? But the draw of the whitewater draw mm-hmm, mm-hmm. lures in dozens of others. Oh, they're doing the dance over here. See, right up there, comes the punch. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's amazing. It, it, there's just thousands of them. Including a different kind of Arizona bird. We're best friends, you know. Love birds. Right. We are. Taking in the sights. And we don't get these birds. Jeff and Jane Hayes studied up on their facts before heading down for a date day to see the birds. But they do like to be by the farms, and the farmers might not like them. <laughs> They share a special kind of bond with these animals. Here comes three of them together. Where? They're flying right across. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sandhill cranes pick their partners for life. We just like the same things, and yeah. we're, we're both pretty quiet and laid back. Jeff and Jane hope to do the same. They've been married for 30 years. With many more years to go. Taking in the birds one picture at a time, their compatibility evident <laughs> with each laugh. Except he dropped his camera. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my camera down there on the deck. Creating picture-perfect memories. I got some pretty good pictures, I hope. And a snapshot of love to last a lifetime. Noisiest birds I've ever heard. I don't know what their problem is. In McNeil, Heather Jansen, KOLD News 13.